one mind map is used to explain this heat map analysis in this particular video and if you want to get this mind map you need to download our Shomus biology app from the play store and inside the study material section you can clearly see the mind map for all these videos that we're sharing thank you hello everyone welcome back to another video from Shomus biology and uh, this is uh, another video regarding the heat map analysis which is the Shomus Biology original series where we discuss about the different topics that they ask repeated questions from uh, from this uh, syllabus of CSI and LSBT and this is particularly uh, earlier the CSI and unit 4 and now the LSBT syllabus cell communication and signaling mind map and uh, this unit has uh, the name of cell signaling and uh, communication but apart from the cell communication and signaling in this particular unit we have uh, the cancer biology we have host pathogen interaction we have immunologies we have other topics as well so we are going to talk about uh, this uh, cell communication uh, part now so first we'll talk about the overall final verdict on this particular chapter then we are going to talk about the different uh, repeated topics so let's start with the verdict on this chapter so starting with the verdict, the importance level of this unit is very high. This is the very first thing. Second thing is the scoring potential. The scoring potential from this unit, unit 4 is also very high. Okay, uh, Especially in the signaling pathways like GPCR, MAP kinase pathway and second messenger pathways that are involved. Okay, This is the scoring pathways which are high. Typical marks are to gain in this particular chapter if you prepare properly, it's 20 to 30 marks without any issue. The topics to prioritize, what are the topics that you need to prioritize? GPCR, G protein coupled receptor, RTK, receptor tyrosine kinase and map kinase cascade signaling apoptosis signaling intrinsic as well as extrinsic pathways of apoptosis jack stat pathways june fos all these things that you need to prepare so these are the overall understanding but what are the topics wise breakdown topic wise breakdown is very very important for you to understand exactly which topics are repeated every single session and here we go with uh, gpcr pathways g protein coupled receptors importance level is very high and the focus on this particular pathway is for all the different uh, different structure of the G protein coupled receptor G alpha S G alpha I G alpha Q pathways that are involved cyclic AMP based pathway IP3 DAG signaling pathways are equally important from GPCR pathways RTK signaling receptor tyrosine kinase signaling pathway okay so RTK pathways uh, are where the importance level is also very high the focus for the RTK pathways here is the MAP kinase pathway and ERK pathway right uh, so PI3K, KT, uh, right, MAP, ERK and also PI3K, KT, mTOR pathway are also important. RAS, uh, RAF, MAKE, ERK pathway which is also known as MAP kinase pathway are the focus uh, pathways here for the RTK signaling. Second messengers are important here. Importance level is very high. The second messengers focus here is the cyclic AMP as a second messenger, calcium as a second messenger, IP3, DAG, cyclic GMP are examples of second messengers. We need to know their roles and their effects. That is uh, very, very important. Uh, next uh, here is JAK stat pathway. It's also equally important. Uh, importance level is very high. And the focus for the JAK stat pathway is the cytokine signaling. Because the immune system rely on JAK stat pathway for the overall signaling process, process and releasing of interleukins. That's what you need to understand. The direct transcriptional regulation of JAK stat pathway is something that you need to understand. So that is JAK stat pathway is important. So apoptosis uh, signaling, any cell signaling process. Process. importance level is high and the focus for apoptosis signaling is intrinsic and extrinsic pathway you need to understand both the role of mitochondria in apoptosis and also role of the fast ligand mediated pathway the caspase mediated pathway of apoptosis both the pathways are equally important tumor growth factor uh, beta tgf beta uh, transforming growth factor beta you can say not tumor always but transforming growth factor beta Mo uh, the moderate to high level of importance the focus here for the TGF beta pathways MAD uh, proteins and transcription and regulation of MAD proteins out there for TGF beta pathway and notch WNT and hedgehog pathway these three pathways all together are one of the most asked questions uh, from this topic notch WNT and hedgehog all are related to the development so moderate importance the focus here is a developmental signaling pathways and this notch hedgehog and WNT all these three pathways are somewhere or the other are linked to the developmental pathways of organisms that we need 
to prepare. Uh, so that is another very, very crucial uh, topic, nuclear receptor and signaling, particularly the steroid hormone interaction. So here the importance level is moderate and the focus here uh, for this uh, nuclear uh, signaling is the hormone binding to the nuclear receptor. The receptor, they are present inside the nucleus and how exactly the signaling works. We also need to understand the signaling process that signal molecule binds to the receptor outside of the cell, which is GPCR and RTK based. But here, this signaling based on the steroid hormones are directly interacting to the receptor that is present inside the nucleus. So this is important and gene expression modulation is something of a very important topic uh, from this unit 4 or cell communication and signaling chapter. So this, this list of chapters, list of topics that we have discussed here are all cell signaling mediated but apart from the cell signaling we also have a host pathogen interaction where the mode and mode of entry of the host uh, entry of pathogen into the, into the host is important and also we have cancer biology where the hallmarks of cancer and the properties of cancer cells, the transformation of a normal cell into a cancer cell, and the properties of cancer cell including the metastasis and angiogenesis are also very very important but we have just discussed about the cell signaling and the communication only here so that's what we discussed in this particular chapter okay so i believe you get a clear idea on the cell communication and signaling if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future and if you wish to join our coaching or if you want to buy our study material or if you want to join our mock test series, then contact the given number here in this video, 9804654228 or visit our website www.shomusbiology.com or download our app Shomus Biology from the Play Store. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.